It's over. Trump just revealed exactly what Comey was hiding to cover for Crooked Hillary by US4Trump.com. President Trump blasted Hillary Clinton Saturday morning in a series of tweets that will be sure to get under your, her skin. Uh, the president is making it known who the real criminal is while trolling his haters. President Trump came out swinging Saturday, accusing the FBI of ignoring tens of thousands of crooked Hillary's emails during the Clinton email investigation and warned he may have to get involved. The president appeared to be referencing a Thursday Real Clear Investigations report written by Paul Speary about a technical glitch, quote, which kept FBI technicians from comparing Clinton's emails in FBI hands with emails discovered on Anthony Weiner's laptop. Paul Speary, who wrote the article, weighed in, announcing breaking news, the big guy real do at Real Donald Trump just weighed in on my Real Clear Investigations piece on Comey's and Strzok's phony Weiner laptop search. Real Clear Politics, uh, Real Clear Investigations actually reported only 3,077 of the 694,000 emails were directly reviewed for classified or incriminating information. Three FBI officials completed that work in a single 12-hour spurt the day before Comey again cleared Clinton of criminal charges. Most of the emails were never examined, even though they made up potentially 10 times the evidence of what was reviewed in the original year-long case that Comey closed in July of 2016, said a law enforcement official with direct knowledge of the investigation. Yet, even the extremely narrow search that was finally conducted after more than a month of delay uncovered more classified material sent and or received by Clinton through her unauthorized basement server, the official said, contradicting Comey's testimony. This included highly sensitive information dealing with Israel and the U.S. designated terrorist group Hamas. It's over. Trump just revealed exactly what Comey was hiding to cover for crooked Hillary. The president tweeted, big story out that the FBI ignored tens of thousands of crooked Hillary's email, many of which are really bad. Also gave false election info. I feel sure that we will soon be getting to the bottom of all of this corruption. At some point, I may have to get involved. The FBI only looked at 3,000 of the 675,000 crooked Hillary Clinton emails. They purposely didn't look at the disasters. This news is just out at Fox News. The FBI looked at less than 1% of crooked's emails. And here are the official tweets. Big story out. The FBI ignored tens of thousands of crooked Hillary emails, many of which are really bad, also gave false election info. I feel sure we, that we will soon be getting to the bottom of this, all of this corruption at some point. I may have to get involved. The FBI only looked at 3,000 of the six, seven, uh, 675,000 crooked Hillary Clinton emails. They per, uh, purposely didn't look at the disasters. This news is just out at Fox News. The FBI looked at less than 1% of crooked emails. Paul Speary, breaking news, the big guy, real Donald Trump, just weighed in on real clear investigations, peace on Comey's and Strzok's phony Wiener laptop search. Despite Comey's assurances, vast bulk of the Wiener uh, uh, e e emails were really actually uh, investigated. The bulk of Wiener's laptop emails were never examined. And watch below... Comey's testimony back then, I guess, when he... ...bombshell report put out by Real Clear Investigations that says despite what James Comey said, the FBI failed to look at the vast majority of the emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop, which had thousands of Hillary Clinton's State Department emails on it. Joining me now to explain further is the author of that report, investigative journalist, RealClearInvestigations.com, Paul Sperry. Paul, thanks for being here. I'm fascinated with this because actually the letter that went to Congress explaining this, 
was a letter that came to me when I was the chairman of the Oversight Committee. So tell me what you found out now about the reality. That's right. So James Comey told Congress that they had reviewed all of the Clinton emails, hundreds of thousands uh, that were found on the Wiener laptop. But that was not true. Uh, they barely looked at any of them. Uh, just 3,000 out of 700,000 were actually individually examined. Wait, 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 wait. You, they looked at how many? 3,000 out of uh, potentially relevant 700,000 emails were actually individually examined for classified information and incriminating evidence. Well, that, I, I mean, it, it did shock us, right? It was days. They told us they're looking into this, and then days later, they somehow reviewed 700,000 documents. Uh, yeah. How many people actually were, do you have any idea how many people were actually working on this case and looking at these documents? Uh, I was just going to mention that Peter Strzok, the disgraced uh, agent who was uh, in charge of this mid-year investigation of Clinton emails, he actually personally handpicked that 3,000 sample and with two other investigators, they went through them all, supposedly, uh, and pulled an all-nighter, ordered pizza, and said, nothing new here, uh, case closed once again. So, <laughs> I gotta tell you, as a former chairman of the committee, as the former member of Congress, it, it, I mean, how can that be anything other than the director of the FBI lying to Congress and misleading us? Well, he also uh, swore under oath that he had the story that there was this uh, miraculous breakthrough in technology uh, that allowed the FBI to um, uh, process the, the Wiener laptop for evidence uh, rapidly. And turns out that doesn't pass the smell test. That didn't check out either. It turns out there was a technical glitch that thwarted that effort. And I was going to say, I was going to mention that, uh, Jason, that when, when you were on oversight, you were probably wondering the same thing. How, how in the world could they get through this mountain of evidence in just days when, after Comey gave you the, the final all clear on Hillary? So now that you've unveiled or, or figured out what's going on with this information, where does this case go next? Is anybody investigating this? You have Michael Horowitz, who is the Inspector General uh, for the Department of Justice. I wonder if he's looking at it. And if you have Attorney General Sessions just today said that he only operates you know, without any political influence, is the Attorney General himself looking at this uh, in, in line to Congress? Well, uh, this evidence that is really has been covered up on uh, this laptop, this Wiener laptop, uh, it's still relevant. Uh, in the Clinton Foundation probe especially, which is still ongoing. And, uh, you know, the, the whole thing raises more suspicion that the FBI politicized uh, these investigations during the election. And it just begs for an outside independent prosecutor to go back through this evidence, uh, through, through these emails, and see if the FBI was trying to cover up material evidence in this case. This is, I, I really appreciate your good investigative work there. We were always scratching, scratching our heads in Congress. The fact that you've unveiled this, it does demand, I think, the Inspector General, the Attorney General uh, himself, and potentially, I would advocate a second special prosecutor to look at this. There was no Absolutely. possible way that that was happening. It creates more legal jeopardy, I think, for James <laughs> Comey, and it really is a shocking revelation that not only did they use Peter Strzok to look at that, uh, information with his hand-picked people and they, you know, ordered yeah. late-night pizza. Uh, yeah. But come on, the disgrace Peter struck at this point, that makes absolutely no sense. Paul, I, I thank you for your good work and, and coming on this program to share this with us. My uh, thank you. Well, as you can see, uh, they were all in cahoots together. Of course, they're not going to oust her. They're not. They're, they're standing by Hillary, so it seems. But I think Trump is going to make his move after the midterms on all of this stuff. He's just laying the groundwork now, I think, in order to prepare uh, for after the midterms. And then uh, he's going to take some very drastic action, I assume. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.